Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the real-time clock, also known as the RTC of an STM32 microcontroller using the STM32 Cube IDE. My name is Ali and you are watching CGHQ. To start coding, open up STM32 Cube IDE and click on create a new STM32 project. Go to board selector and type in the part number of the microcontroller that you're using. For this video, I'm going to be using the STM32 F41RE. Then click on the microcontroller and then click on next. For project name, you can just call this project STM32RTC and then click on finish and then click on yes. We're not going to be connecting anything to our microcontroller for this video because we're going to be displaying the time and the date on a serial terminal app using USAD2. So we can just come here to pin out right click and then select on clear all pins and then click on yes. Go to timers, click on RTC and then click on activate log source and then click on activate calendar as well. And then here under parameter settings we're going to be using the 24 hour format but the data format for our calendar and our time uh, we're going to change this bcd data format to binary data format and then right now the time is currently 16 minutes past two so we can just write 14 here and then put 17 here for the weekday Today is a Tuesday, so you can just select Tuesday. The month is January. And then for the date, today is the 14th and the year is 2025. When that is done, you need to go to connectivity and then under user 2, click on asynchronous. And then we're going to leave the default parameters as they are. If you don't know what USAD is or you don't know what serial communication is, I've already made a video showing how to send and receive data between the microcontroller and your computer. So if you want to learn more about that, click on the link in the description below. And then when everything is set, just click on Control and S to save or come here with says file and click on save and then generate code click yes and then switch to the new perspective here where it says user code begin includes we're just gonna include one library so you can say hashtag include stdio.h and then we're gonna scroll to where it says user code begin pv under private variables and then we're only going to create one variable for this video so you can say character buffer and then give it a size of 100. This is the buffer that we are going to use to hold the date and time strings that we are going to print on the serial terminal app so that we can be able to see the date and time. Here where it says user code begin to, we need to add two definitions, one for the time and one for the date. So we can say RTC underscore time type and then just hold on control and space for auto completion and then we're going to call this one as time and then we're going to do the same for the date as well say rtc underscore date type and then hold on control and shift for auto completion and then we're going to call this one as date and then add the same color then we're going to come here to the main while loop and then we're going to start writing our code under where it says user code begin three the first thing that we need to do is that we need to get the current time and date from the real-time clock in the microcontroller. So to do this, we need to use two functions. The first one is hal underscore rtc underscore get and then hold on control and space for auto completion. Then we're going to use this one that says rtc underscore get time. And then here, just double click on hrtc and then we want the S time. And then for the format, remember when we were initializing our peripherals, we chose that we, we chose to use the binary format. So we're gonna say RTC underscore format underscore BIN for binary, and then add the semicolon. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the date as well. We're gonna say hal underscore RTC underscore get date, and then control and space for to completion. Then just double click here, double click on S date, and then we're gonna say RTC underscore format underscore binary. After getting the date and the time from the real time clock in the microcontroller, we need to format uh, this data into a string so that we can print it out to our serial terminal app. So to do that, we need to say SN print F and then open bracket, then we say buffer so that we can add the data to the buffer 
uh, variable that we just created and then we're going to just say size of the buffer even though we know that it's going to be a uh, size of 100 byte and then say time then we're going to say percentage 0d then add a comma and then we're going to do the same thing for the date as well then we're going to say backward slash r and then we're going to print on a new line another thing that we need to add here is that we need to say s time in hours to make this a bit faster i'm gonna copy this and then say s time in minutes and then another one again in second and then we're gonna do the same thing for the date as well we're gonna say s date dot the date and then i'm gonna copy this to get the month paste again to get the year and then we say plus 2000 this 2000 is going to be combined with the 25 we added under our parameter settings when we were initializing the rtz so that it displays the date as 2025 the last thing that we need to do now is that we need to transmit this uh formatted string over usage to the uh, to our serial terminal app so that we can see the time and the date being printed out so to do that we just need to say hal underscore you add underscore transmit and then hold on control and space for the completion and then we're not going to transmit using direct memory access or by triggering an interrupt we're just going to use the normal transmit again if you don't know what i'm doing here under you add there's a video link in the description where i explain everything that has to do with serial communication via you add so double click on you add to then we're going to typecast the data that we are transmitting from the buffer variable that we created and then the size and then for the size we're going to say the string length of the same variable and then for the time mode we're going to use hal underscore maximum delay we want uh information to be updated every second so we're going to say hal underscore delay we're going to run through this loop every one second so you can say 1000 milliseconds Great, when this is done, we just need to click on this icon that looks like a hammer to build our project to see if there are no errors in our code. And then as you can see, it says finish building with zero errors with zero errors in two warnings. We can just ignore the warnings and then connect our microcontroller to our PC or laptop. Come here to this green play button that says run, click on it, and then go to the debugger, click on ST link, click on scan, and then click on apply and then click on ok to upload the code to the microcontroller when the code has been uploaded open your serial terminal app uh, for this video i'm going to be using party and then we need to identify the com port for our microcontroller to do this you just need to go and go to the device manager and then go to port and then we can see that our stm32 microcontroller is connected to com pod 10 so we can change this to 10 and then we need to make sure that this speed here matches the baud rate of our usage configuration settings so we can go back to this tab here and then we can see that under usage our baud rate is currently set to this number here so when you go back to our serial terminal app we need to make sure that these two numbers match and then we can click on open and then as you can see we can see that the time is being printed the hours the minutes and the seconds and then the date is also being printed on the serial terminal app as well thank you so much for watching this video if you found the video helpful or if you have any questions or any feedback please let me know in the comment section below also if you want to help the channel grow there's a paypal donations link that i have added in the description of this video thank you so much see you in the next video